Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Oz Rock Experience. Please welcome the stage your incredible host, Mr. Peter Oyster! <laughs> Peter, who? Up yours, buddy. <laughs> welcome, my friends. Thank you for coming. Oh, gee whiz, I love it. I've never been here before. I love it. I love the vibrations. Can you see me at all? That light's working now. Can you hear me up the back? Can you hear me down the front? Can you hear me in that sort of back front section? The front bar. <laughs> Sorry, that's immature. I, um, the history of rock. Am I going to go through the history of rock? Probably not. Probably not. Probably bang on a little bit about stuff that you won't even know about. Because when were you born, young girl, on the front? Big pun? 95? Bullshit! Well, that fucking sucks. No, but well done. Congratulations, 95 girl. 95? Fuck off. Anyway. No, it just makes me angry sometimes, I'm sorry. Um, no, well done for being 21. Fuck off. Uh, happy times. Back corner, you're quite young too. I can see you from here. Back corner, you're quite young as well. This is just my eyesight. No, it's my eyesight, sorry. No, it isn't. Welcome, everybody. We're going to have a ball. Can I have my mic up a little bit or through these? I'm just going to start yelling soon, if that's all right. Well done, everyone. This is going to be great. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to hear music through the, through the decades. Probably starting 50-ish, 50, late 50s. Yeah, a bit of 60s action. Then, then we go quite heavy into the pub rock area. Now, the, pub, the place is where we, you know, I think this is where we were peaking before you were born. Sure, like fucking ages before you were born. Star in the sky sort of business you were. Um, and uh, where we're going to really, the nights we may have spent at some of the clubs around town where you may have gone down to the sentimental bloke at Doncaster, seen the band. We might have gone to the Village Green out there. Might have gone to Southside 6 if you don't mind. Got stuck into the Sharpies and the Skids. Fucking amazing. Gone to the Croxton Park, maybe got a taco. Maybe went skating in Iceland for Ringwood. Saw the Ted Muller again. <laughs> Goodness me, so many great venues. Crystal Ballroom, who went to the Crystal Ballroom? That guy did, well done, sir. Wasn't that popular as it turned out. <laughs> But we all that time, all that wonderful times where we were people, we were young and we were free and we had it all, just like you, exactly the same as you, except you seem sort of lonely to go with all the old mates. <laughs> no, I'm only joking, you're a part of Steve's crew, I get it. There's a little dance floor down here, I don't want to discourage any dancing, there will be some dancing. Don't feel, you know, with age, uh, certain things happen. Um, there's some indicators, which will give you an eye, look up, just as an indicator of my age. Um, I realise I'm getting a bit old. I've got, a, I've got a motorbike. Well, it's a scooter, but anyway. And I, uh, I was, I noticed when I put my helmet on, my face will generally do this sort of action. And I noticed really, oh, fuck, recently, I, I realised if, if I get the excess skin on my face and I tuck it into the side of my helmet, I could get away with being like a 30-year-old Eurasian dude. <laughs> and I was flying down the south, this and the other, feeling really good about myself, giving me a bit of, you know, near how. <laughs> I passed the car, I hit 110 k's, and my neck started to flap. <laughs> key indicator. Not great. Another key indicator for some middle-aged people is you may have taken, taken up cycling for some strange reason. That's okay, you want to keep fit, but I don't understand why well, they all have to wear the full-on Tour de France outfit. You're not going to make the fucking turn. <laughs> some of those middle-aged guys are a touch chunky and shouldn't be going anywhere near Lycra. But that one wife or girlfriend has stopped those men leaving the house in that year. They must appear at the end of the bed at five in the morning and go, Hey, doll, I'm going for a run. I've got a new fat prick. Off you go. We'll talk a bit more about those later on. But what happens at 40 sometimes? The dance fairy comes down and taps you on the shoulder and says, You will never dance again. You're going to do this shit for the rest of your life. Well, bugger that, people. We're going to do some moves on that dance floor down there. We're going to do some moves. We're going to try and relive the old days. It might hurt. But, you know, just, just deal with the pain tomorrow morning, you know. You can do it in this one. But just be careful your lower back region. It can hurt. And ladies and gentlemen, we should get the band. We're going to bring the band out, ladies and gentlemen. Let's welcome the band on the stage. You're going to be entertaining you all night. We've got everyone. Everyone, look how many there are. The drummer's here. That's been great. The keyboard player's here. That's fantastic. We've got everyone back you do. What is it? Look how young he is. Bit of eye candy for you, madam. There, look. Look at him. Look at him. Look how young he is. He's a 95er, who knows? Look at it. Look at the fashion. We've just kept some of our shit. And we're wearing, look at that. Bang. Pow. I just can't wear it pants like that. There's the visible fly. 
always creepy. So we're starting right, we're starting in the 50s area, and we'll be creeping in a little bit. We're start, well, let's look at the history, 50s, quiet time in Australia, not a lot happening. Uh, getting influenced by the American counterparts over there, a bit of um, Elvis Presley, a bit of Bill Haley and the Comets, perhaps, Ray, influencing the young, the young people of Australia. Don't remember. Don't remember, sure you don't, I know you don't, Ray, none of us do. But one man caught on, his name was Johnny O'Keefe. Okay, Joe, we're going to do a Tony O'Keefe classic. Oh, yeah. Is this shout? We're going to do shout. Is that what it is? Okay, so we need to do, we can do a bit of audience work here, you know, see? We can do a bit of, you know, uh, how does it go? Shout, 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 shout. Yeah? So on the count of three, I'm going to say shout. One, two, three. Shout. One, two, three. Shout. One, two, three. Shout. One, two, three. Shout. You can do it, didn't you? Didn't you? But you've got to do it at the right time. I don't know when the fuck that happens. But anyway, we'll figure it out. These are the dancers, everyone. Give the dancers around. Look at them. They're wearing some... They're like fairy costumes. It's amazing. Really great. Well, I saw like, a, you know, that was like Mad Max 3 sort of outfit. And ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Oz Rock Experience. Come on! Well! There's always one. I said, well! You know you make me want to shout Throw my hands up and shout Kick my heels up and shout Throw my hands up and shout Come on now, shout Come on 